Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to more Tropical Five. I'm Jeff, and I'm Andrew. And yeah, we got a nice little. We got a lot of buildings going. Strong little economy. I'm gonna build a dock now. Oh yeah. Speed that along. Oh yeah. Let's let's see what we can do some more trading with. Oh look, Russia wants to get some pharmaceuticals. We'll do that. It's a whole lot of money. Yeah, and uh, what else? Rush, you know what? The Soviets. I'll even send you canned goods. So nice. I mean, I care about my Soviet brothers. We did import the revolution at one point. Yeah. Cost us ten grand. Yeah. But it's fine. That's fine. Hello, little guy. You know what? Please. I'm gonna arrest you. All right. It'll be sent off here, where we currently have no prisoners. Oh, what happened to the other guy that was in there? He was re-educated. Mm. You can be arrested. Let's take a look. Oh, hello. And you'll be arrested. <laughs> I love tropical sunset. I'm sure you do. That's why I'm arresting you. Hmm. Oh, At someone's. Your service. Why is a rebel working as a police officer? The other one was a soldier. Yeah, well, that makes a little more sense. Yeah, I suppose. Hmm. Yeah. We have discovered a novel technique Ooh. for scanning the brain and displaying its contents. While testing this new discovery on me, we found a huge empty space. The universe also consists primarily of empty space. Coincidence? I think not. We can now use his brain to predict how the universe behaves. Excellent. Greetings. Greetings. To prison! Are they just walking to prison? Well, they'll get picked up by the police or directed or something like that. Mm. It just it just functionally looks like they're walking there. See, he's taking a car. Let me arrest you. Where are you going? The police will catch him eventually. Alright. Maybe he's playing the island. Amigo. Amigo. Arrested. At your service. Oh, you're, you're not standing for any of it, eh? Nope. No, no, no. I've got the money to arrest them all. Alright. Good show, old chap. Let's there we go. hit them with technological envy. That will smart for a lifetime. Ah, we can send Penultimo to claim the first chimpanzee in space. Except, we will build. Yeah, I got lots of power still. Where is it? Oh, military, I believe, actually. Space program. Mm. Expensive, though. That's okay. Five grand. If only I had lots of money. The Yankees will drown Ooh. us in money. But Fifteen we have grand to issue the industrialization thing. Which I will take. Those Yankees sure know so how to So I get fifteen on that, plus party. another ten grand. Then if I really wanted to be cheap, I could cancel these buildings, get their full wealth back. Right, no, they already halved it. No, no, I could probably cancel it. Mm. Let me just see, what is it at? Oh yeah, they already have it. Oh, if you'd known about it was coming ahead of time, you could have cancelled them. Mm. Don't the cash back. Excellent oh well. Joyce, Mr. President, taking money from gullible superpowers is where our priorities should lie. Mm. Now let's use it to make something productive. Veronica Veneno. Uh, she's another. She she shows up in this era. She's basically our uh, the different aspect of big business. More of our international relations as well. Right. Whereas Lord Oaksworth is the old money type. Right. I just ordered a really big wardrobe from our new furniture factory. Do I really need another closet? Of course I do. I'm a woman, and I need a place to store all my skeletons. <laughs> Took that a different direction than you were thinking, didn't they? <laughs> oh, boy. There we are. 
A cure for every illness is the slogan of the Tropican pharmaceutical industry. Small print clarifies there's no guarantee that the cure will actually <laughs> the cure will actually cure the illness. But all customers are entitled to the full benefits of the placebo effect. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And here Many famous pieces of furniture were crafted by Tropican craftsmen. For example, a certain prominent Englishman commissioned one round table from us some time ago. <laughs> it burned out. It turned out a bit uh, elliptic. But the customer didn't complain. We've also created a very comfy chair for the Spanish Inquisition. Sure. And most recently, a metallic message or Tron for a famous TV network. Awesome. I know the things we build. Ooh, 400 research points. I know. We're, we're soaking up the research. Don't know what that means, but great. Yeah, it'll help us get along to these research things. Nine months, and we get the... Aircraft carrier. Aircraft carrier. <laughs> Alright, how's things going over here? Yeah, see, we're just trying to get some... These shacks will reduce the, the prettiness of the area. Right. So, I better fix that. With, uh... Right. Apartments. We we'll build those apartments and a a supermarket. Now and then I gotta build a bunch of. Oh my god! I've actually used up all my money. Ah well, that happens. Then I'm going to expand, expand my electric grid through the jungles. Does that give me the reach that I need? Uh, quite sure. Well, this will. There we go. There we are. The awesome. power! Look at that. I know! And there we are, the space program. Space! The final frontier! These are the voices of the starship Presidente. Continue mission. Reach strange new worlds before the Ruskies and the Yankees. <laughs> yeah, okay. To reduce traffic and violence, to new life and new civilizations, to bolt the go where no dictator has gone before. Uh, to reach strange new worlds before Presidente. the Yankees. I've come with dire news. My <gasps> environmentalist comrades uncovered a carefully woven imperialistic plan to bring about the extinction of the rare tropical fur bearing trout. <gasps> Ugh. There was a time when the shores were teeming with furry trouts, and people lived in peaceful symbiosis with them. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry. Too bad, environmentalists. I like my oil factory. It keeps my power plant humming with power. Yeah. Maybe in a later era. When I, you know, can have geothermal plants. Yeah. They don't need oil or coal. Nah. They just need the sweet, sweet hot magma. Oh, you. You and your magma okay. fetish. So it's true. There we go. Modern times. Great. All technologies, all buildings. <clears throat> ah. So first of all, we're going to have to... Well, now we've got the USA, and of now, Russia. Right, so they progressed. Oh, it's not USSR. No. The war is officially over. Congratulations, we won. The USA and the USSR failed to annihilate each other. Hmm. And Hurrah! everyone else in a global conflict. I'm putting that down as a win in my book. <laughs> so it totally just jumped us ahead like 30 years? Yep. Okay. Now in the modern era. We have, we have new things to trade. Holy Products. crap. Steel, uranium. Nobody wants to go importing at the moment, though. We have no good deals. We don't have any electronics factories. Oh, right. Yes. It's a shame. But yeah, in theory, we could build like we could build one, but we'd need bauxite and gold. Mm. Chocolate factory. Mm. And we can get, like, fashion companies and farmers. We can build all these now as well. But I'm gonna build a metro station. And there. And then I'm gonna build a metro station. Way over here. Mm, 
way over here. There we are. And we'll have a nice little metro station right by the two ends of the island. Great. Right? People can hop between the two. And this should see some of our houses. These guys should shrink as they move into the apartments. Uh, let's hope so. You know. Hey. You. Presidente? And you. Hola. Stupid rebels. Get ye to my supermax prison. Well, we can we can always you know take a peek in. Homeless, seventy three people. Probably because I don't have enough housing. Mm. Let's see apartments. Yeah, well they might they might move in now. I have opened it up a little bit. Let's take a look at research. Yeah, all right. We'll keep researching. Ah, but, uh, ah, yes, we can increase the effectiveness of our educational facilities now. Mm. People will educate faster. Perfect. Oh. Great giant tropical spiders, Presidente. We have a crisis, and we have to act fast. Hmm, tropicans are getting too smart for their own good. So do make them stupid and docile. But that needles can do that to you. Issue of the immunization campaign. All right, we already did that. The so. nationalists are prouder than ever three to be tropicals. Yeah, three free police stations. I'll take that. Because you never know what you might need. A police station. Keep the tourists out of, uh, you know, from being in trouble. Sure. Maybe, maybe a TV station, now that I think about it. Yeah, let's build a TV station over here. Yeah, I like that. All right. It's finally 1989, and I will introduce television to the people. Good thinking. Forward thinking. Oh, that reminds me. I would like to build... I guess we'll wait for now. I've got more money. Precious, precious money. Well, the people are still quite happy. Happier than ever. They they do approve of of living under the dictatorship that is El Presidente. Hmm. Presidente, oh. a new era of modern warfare dawns. Yay! With the discovery Ooh. of ballistics, we can ensure that ten out of twelve bombs hit their designated targets. The remaining bombs will politely allow civilians to clear the area before exploding. Of course. Oh, thank goodness. Now, do I still get a free that. one, or did they cancel it? Oh, they canceled it because you changed errors. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Oh, but... Don't need those. Not when I can have... Uh, the inferiority complex. And it's called print and hot water. Those are much more interesting to research than the nuclear President, weapons plant. Tropicans await elections next year. Uh, they wish to show uh, that... Yeah, you don't always need to have all the previous technologies. You can kind of skip ahead a little, uh, uh, to a degree. Okay. Let's see. There we are. Automated line. Hmm. There we are. That should make it even more effective. Less workers, more effectiveness. Many reports of electrical outages today. We even had some trouble here at the bar. The rodeo bull stopped working for half an hour until I got two electric eels to power it up. Hmm. Well, that is a little troubling. Yeah. We we need more money. Whoa, 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 whoa. Scroll it up, scroll it up. <laughs> it took off without power. Woo! <laughs> Did take off without power, didn't it? Ah, well, let's fund it. Fine. Once I get a little more money, I'm going to build a geothermal power plant. How much money do you need? Oh, but now I've got enough power. Yeah, brown out. I need... 15 grand. That's not bad. That's not so bad, actually. Are you going to build it... Like, are you going to destroy the oil? Or, uh, uh, yes, oil? once I've got enough energy being produced by geothermal plants, I will wipe out the... Okay. Uh, the coal-powered and gas-powered factory. 
one of the things you can do with geoth geothermal is they have an upgrade to make sure they produce no pollution. Hmm. And there we go. A TV station. Some circulated viewers blame Trumpkin TV for turning all viewers into mindless zombies with a capability for free thought. Well, this claim is not a, not untrue. Exactly the same can be said for television everywhere, so there's no real cause for any concern. <laughs> right, how are things going over here? Oh, it's not filled with people. That's not filled with people either. It's too bad. But at least they're safe now. Oh, yeah. Can't ask for much more than that. Lots of crime starting to develop over here, though. Just build one of those free police stations. I understand I know. a new TV station has been built. Why are the fuss, people? If you want pictures with your news that badly, just lay back, listen to me, and picture me drinking a glass of milk as some of it runs down my chin from my big, soft lips. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, she's a wonderful person. Oh, yeah, she's the best. Mm -hmm. Upgrades. I always, always gotta upgrade that effect. Thank you, pseudoscience. That last plan didn't work. Hmm. We've not. Apparently, immunizing people has not made anyone stupid. Hmm. Ah. <sighs> so, if I have two TV stations, though, that might make people stupid. We can only dream. Yeah. Giant tropical spiders, President. Ah, I'm not afraid of the rebels right now. Right, well, we got there. Oh, wow, Russia and uh, I know US they sent, love uh, me. Much money, enough money to build the first of a ge of the geothermal power plants. <laughs> you know what? I do need more embassies now, actually. Oh really? Yes. Now that we're in the modern era, there is uh, five. Oh wow. There we are. We'll build uh, over here. One we'll see there. Yeah. One we'll embassy there, and then I'll put the two others beside it. Mm. And then I can. It's the so we got the Russians, the U.S. Oh, is it taking off again? Oh. oh. No. Uh. The Middle East. Oh, okay. Um, the EU. Oh yeah yeah. And oh, what's the other group? Uh, could it be uh, Asia? China. Yeah, mm. China. There we are. Embassy. There we are. Five embassies. We'll have all the people hanging out on the island with awesome. us. Great. But, no. What? Oh. No, I, think it's, I think it's just testing yeah. right now. Yeah. Though it is a fully manned space program, at least. Oh no, no power. That's why we need this place. Come on, guys. Hop to it. What do you think I pay you for? Yeah, no kidding. What do you think I'd not have you shot in the streets for? What do the guys with the hats mean? Oh, well, let's find out. What do you mean? It's a crime lord. Ooh. Marina de Vega. It's the crime lord working at the observatory. Ooh. She's a scientist. Cool. She's filthy rich, too. I know. With 100 approval. Yeah, I don't. Well, just because you're a crime lord doesn't mean you don't approve of your boss. You know, your 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 local dictator. Is that us uh, walking on the street there? Yeah. On the right. There. Scroll right. Oh, I went into a building. This oh, guy? he's right there. The one right there. Eek. Yeah, that's us. My will is absolute. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Oh, but we only have one star. Yeah, we're, we haven't. We need. 50 grand before... Well, actually, we're in the modern era. Yeah, we need 50 grand in our Swiss, ba Swiss bank account. Oh. To upgrade to the next level. Jeez. You know. Oh, tienda de comestible. <laughs> I have such great Spanish. Better than mine. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> Hola. Hola. At your service. <laughs> Ha-ha! No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. Look at all that rum. 
actually is. That's a lot of rum. I need to... Presidente. The nationalists up. I'll take that. I need to get another... This actually brings up a good point. Teamster's office. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm definitely... We have an opportunity to influence the outcome of coming... See, this is... Yeah. That means 93% has... approval? Yeah. Holy smokes. That means we got 5,000 units of rum just sitting there, not being shipped out to the... Mm. to one of these places, right? And that means we don't have enough uh, Teamsters carrying goods around. Mm. And that's just terrible. Oh, it's taking off! Wee! Is it just haunted? The election in. Crushed it. I know. There we are. Geothermal plant creates electricity from harnessing the energy of the magma conduits running in the depths of the island. The giant hamster wheels in the basement are just for fitness exercises. There we are. Is that place to produce power? We are as small dust motes in the grand scale of the universe. Mm. Fortunately, we can take mm. it out on others and make them feel even smaller. Ah. Let's make the building so huge that our citizens feel small and insignificant. It seems logical to me that then we would become more significant and much larger than <laughs> dust motes. Maybe as large as tennis balls. Mm. He is a man who, who dreams of the future. Ah. And we're going to take a break here. And I'll see everybody soon for more. Okie dokie. Take care, everyone.